Refusing to give in to the masses, Algeria's powerful army chief Ahmed Gaid Sala announced live on television that dialogue on the protesters' terms was out of the question. There is no more time to lose. We need to build a dialogue around the crucial issue of elections. We support a dialogue. We want it to be fruitful. But it has to be rid of the preconditions which amount to diktats. A seven-member committee has already been set up by interim president Abdelkader Ben Salah to pave the way for fresh elections. But the opposition says it will only consider dialogue if authorities free detained protesters and cut back on police presence during demonstrations. Students took to the streets for a 23rd consecutive Tuesday. They believe the members of the appointed panel are tainted by what they view as an outdated, corrupt regime. The Algerian people say no to dialogue, clear and simple, because of the people they've chosen. The Algerian people are asking for the departure of all the old symbols of the regime. Most younger protesters believe the talks are nothing more than lip service, designed to push through elections and perpetuate the power of those close to ousted leader Abdelaziz Bouteflika. Many have pointed out the fact that his former minister is in charge of leading the talks, which are looking increasingly unlikely. The committee has given the interim government until the end of this week to make headway with protesters.